Hello everyone, welcome to this add-on video for the zombie behavior. In this video, we'll be setting up wandering around for the zombie. Before we get started, I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. This entire scene will be uploaded to Patreon. So for this behavior update, we'll be using this action. And even though it seems quite straightforward, just pasting it in into behavior doesn't actually get the results you're looking for. So it will be, uh, we'll be using this, but it will be a, a slightly uh, more elaborate uh, than simply adding the action. So let's get started. So here we are back in our scene. Um, just like before, the player character doesn't really matter. It's all about the zombie behavior. However, in order to tr properly trigger everything in the behavior, we do need the player to be present in the scene, even if he's incredibly far away. So um, next up, we'll be adjusting the behavior. And previously, I just set it up like this. And I mentioned, you know, the previous uh, behavior videos, um, how to set up patrol markers. Um, but I got a couple of comments and asks about um, actually setting up wandering, like proper wandering. So in order to do that, we do need to nav mesh the area and obviously um, import that action I showed you before. And in order to nav mesh the area, um, this is really simple because obviously I just have the one plane, uh, but I'll show you how to do it in case you don't know. Um, so we go to navigation and um, you know this is what you'll get make sure navigation static is turned on um, you can change some settings um, which i would recommend in case you have a more elaborate scene uh, in this case it's fine then we go to the object and all we really have to do here um, is uh, select bake and we're done now obviously this is a really simple um, mesh so it, it literally takes a millisecond the more elaborate your scene is and terrain is, it might take a bit longer. So just keep that in mind. Um, it can actually take quite a bit of time, uh, but don't worry about that. Nothing's wrong. Unity just sometimes takes a while to properly uh, nav mesh an area and that's okay. Um, so the area is nav meshed. Uh, now let's head over to our behavior. Um, and what we're going to do here is, well, if we pull up the action and you know do it like this, I wanna show you what actually happens. Um, so this is always tricky, wait until it arrives, um, simply because um, it makes it, you know, if you switch to different tasks, this might still execute. Um, yeah, it's proper tricky actually. Now, if we just do this, um, I'm going to show you what it does as well. So we'll hit play. And it's, uh, it's going to do uh, his little wonder and then he stops and that's it. Nothing else really happens. Um, again, with restart actions, uh, it becomes a bit tricky, um, you know, because actions might not be properly canceled again. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of an odd one, um, but yeah, he just does it once. Um, so an easy way to do this um, is actually, we'll refer to a, a variable. So we're going to do execute actions um, then we're going to do variable invoker. Um, we'll just call it wonder, wait to finish. We're going to do something else as well. So we're going to go property uh, invoker um, set run speed and we're going to do that to two. Now, you know, he's not actually running. So he's just walking around and th that's completely fine. Um, but he's walking pretty fast and the run speed actually dictates how fast the walking goes as well. So we need to change that here. Now, obviously the moment um, he sees the player, this needs to change. And we're going to set it back to four um, because at speed two, they're just way too slow for actually attacking. It's just not fun. Um, it, it gives you so much time to just slowly kill them off because they're just so slow. However, for wandering around, we do want the slow zombie walk. We don't want it to be a fast walk. Um, and it becomes a fast walk on four for a zombie. So yeah, this is what we're doing. Um, make sure to set this first before assigning that bull to spot it, quite important as well. Um, and yeah, executions wait, and we're going to go here. So uh, then we're going to create some uh, actions and we need a place to put those actions as well. We called it wonder, so make sure it's called wonder. Um, game object and we can drag in those actions we just created. 
just to make sure we don't forget them. Um, let's properly name these. So actions uh, wonder, perfect. And we're going to do call conditions. Um, let's create those conditions. Going to make them a child of actions wonder um, simply because um, it's just a bit easier uh, like this to be on, to be honest. Um, then we're going to uh, do uh, C. So uh, invoker can not see uh, player. Um, the reason I'm calling that as a uh, condition again um, is simply because uh, we want to make sure it doesn't otherwise execute. It's just an extra safety measure because otherwise we can get stuck in that loop. Then um, we're going to do uh, wonder um, character. So we need to drag in our character here. There we go. Um, I'm going to do 10 uh, stop threshold of 0 0.1 and we're not going to do wait until it arrives. We're just going to do wait five seconds. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Um, then here, what we're going to do is uh, restart and restart actions. There we go. Now let's have a look at what that looks like. Um, there we go. So we'll just, um, we'll observe from the scene view. I think that's just slightly easier to do. Um, yeah, there we go. Let's turn off those gizmos. And as you can see, it's a slow walk. And it's just w random wandering around. So this is entirely random. And that's what you ask for. If you want to do the patrol thing, um, because you want to control areas more, again, I've covered that so many times in videos. Um, but this is like genuine wandering around. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. Now, obviously, it won't just walk into whatever either. Um, it is limited by uh, nav mesh, meaning um, the area you nav mesh is exactly where he'll wander. So he's not going to wander um, anywhere else. So you still have control over where he can go, um, which is pretty cool. Now, when it comes to the main camera, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if this works uh, in game. So let's give this a go. I don't, I'm not sure if that's gonna work. Yeah, it does work, okay. So let's do 1.5, okay. Can we zoom out a bit? Um, no, okay. Well, let's let's just approach him. It's not the prettiest. Um, and we wanna see what happens uh, with the wandering. Are we going to interrupt him? Uh, fully aware that the camera is not the best right now, but that's okay. And here we go. And as you can see, he comes to uh, attack us. And yeah, perfect. Exactly what he's supposed to do. So uh, it's a rather short video, but I wanted to show that you can actually do wander around with NavMesh um, with Game Creator as well. It's an amazing action that is on the hub. Um, but as you can see, when it comes to the behavior, um, you need to do a couple of extra steps to um, make it work properly. And that's okay. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, but yeah, it's not the simple, just drag it in and we're done. Um, you need to make sure that everything keeps working. So write a short video, um, but yeah, it's proper wandering around. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one.